Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, it's the end of the day. We had two young brothers out here windsurfing. And um, man, they're going to go home and uh, talk to their dad and their mom that's vacationing with them. And they may come back and take a uh, kiteboard lesson tomorrow. These guys were really athletic. They had balance. They were able to uh, really handle the windsurfing boards really well. So they swapped off between two boards, two different kinds of uh, wind sails. And um, one had a dagger board and, and the other one is just real boy and it didn't. But they needed their experience so they swapped off between the two boards. So, needless to say, we got uh, happy people. I, I didn't get an ending video with them to talk about it, but uh, they were wore out. I'm wore out. I actually went out today uh, on, on my 11, and I, I thought I was going to uh, practice kite loop the 11 a few times, but man, it was just really good conditions for low wind. I say maybe 16, maybe 17 at the most, but it, it you know, it, not a real windy day. And I was medium powered, and I, I stayed uh, with the trim all the way out, and uh, so the trim was full. But uh, I was in the second knot, so I had I had plenty of control. I could get the speed when I wanted to, but man, the swells and the chops. By the time you get out there to the reef, they were huge. Um, when I say huge, it's not like a surf wave, but it's a swell, and they're coming really close, so it's like chops, you know, like boom, and then boom, and, you're, and the angle that the waves were coming in, I was constantly having to kick the tail of the board out to be able to 90 on but I managed to do it and uh, stayed in control fairly well. Long story short, um, no video of me kiting. I didn't feel like taking the GoPro out because when I take the GoPro out, I'm constantly not paying attention to what I'm doing. But we got four days of really good wind coming in, so I've got some ideas with the GoPro. Different ways to mount it, different things, something, you know, is variety to you know what I can do I'm limited but uh, I wish I had somebody that could film me from the beach with this really cool camera I got but um that's all right the GoPro will show up and uh with these new ways I'm gonna mount it and it'd be good video look when you learn to windsurf and, and, and kiteboard and you got the freedom you know of having fun on the water man that's <laughs> That's worth a lot. And if you got your health, you're a billionaire. So if you got your health, you're a billionaire, and you want to learn to kiteboard and stuff like that, because I'm coming back to Branson. I'll be in um, Ozark, Missouri, Branson, Missouri. I'm going to be kiting on every lake that I can figure out a way to kite on, especially I want to try Table Rock Lake. So at that time, I'll have uh, well, all my contact information is easy to find. If you want to learn uh, to, I'm not going to be doing wind windsurfing. That's Brian's territory. I haven't even really ever took a lesson. I've jumped straight into the, the kite boarding and kite surfing. So if that's what I'm saying. It's going to be taking place on Table Rock Lake. I'm going to be um, doing it. Now the wind's really different there. So sometimes I'll be wind be blowing from the north. Sometimes it'll be blowing from the south. So I got to find some really pristine launch places places to take off and if you got a boat and you want to learn then I can actually work with you on the boat deal because there is a way to kite anywhere on the lake with a boat you just you launch and you land from the boat but, um, all right we'll be talking about it I want to find all the kiters in the Ozarks Arkansas even yeah um, so not very many people doing it right now but if I'm the ambassador bringing it to Missouri and the Ozarks, I fully intend for it to blow up and take off. We'll see a lot of young people getting involved. Women, young women, men, even some maybe older men. The group I ride the bicycles with, there's a lot of older people that ride bicycles. When I say older people, I'm talking even, you know, 70, 70s. And um, that's the thing about kiteboarding, man. You can do it until you're 70, 90. You can do it for a long time, and um, the injuries are buffered by the water. If you do uh, your due diligence and learning, learning all the correct procedures, then you'll be you'll be fine. It's a very safe sport.
But there are ways of getting hurt doing it, and but the safety equipment's done got so far advanced that um, that well that comes with learning the, how to do it and what what equipment to buy, so you do get the best safety features. I I, I kite with uh, Cabrina. I love it. Cabrina's is, is is the leader in the industry when it comes to uh, safety, and so I'm using a Fireball, which is a brand new thing. Um, there is a video if you put the link in the box so if you want to see the type of uh, bar I'm using and the, uh, the harness that goes with that it's called a fireball all right I'll talk to you later I'm out